Hey guys, welcome back to another one. This is Crypto Elite, home to the number one theta community. And if you like this content, please like and subscribe to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the theta meta chain. But before we talk about that, I do want to talk about the Crypto Elite NFT. It is going to be live starting in November, a series two round funding. We're going to continue to expand it. There's going to be 30 NFTs sold and it's going to be 500 T fuel. More information in the description below if you are interested in this. In today's video, like I talked about, we are going to be talking about the Theta Meta Chain. Theta is making a lot of improvements and they are looking like they are going to be on track for the December 1st launch of the Theta Meta Chain. In this video, we're going to go over a preview of what the Meta Chain is looking like right now. So recently they produced this Medium article which is titled Theta Meta Chain Testnet is now live with the first subchain deployed for Imagine Replay. And we'll go over this. I really like what this looks like. They are making huge strides and I look forward to all the different companies that are going to create subchains on the overall Theta blockchain. So the Theta Meta Chain has reached an important milestone on the way to production release in December. And the testnet is live, which we'll check out here in a second. And it has to do with the Imagine Replay uh, company. So let's check out GitHub before we go over to Imagine Replay if you're unfamiliar. But GitHub is where all the coding is. And as you can see, J.E. Long is the chief tech officer and he is doing a lot of work him and his team. They are doing a lot over here. They say that um, the meta chain, if you're unfamiliar with it, it has one main chain and unlimited number of sub chains. And it has to do with the meta as a prefix, as well as um, a lot of more details behind that. But Theta will offer an easy to use SDK that developers can quickly use to launch a sub chain and plug it into the main chain. And that's one of the benefits here. There's a lot of different reasons that companies whether it be a video streaming company, a casino company, they can create their own blockchain if they would like to and create all the different rules and regulations within their own chain. And it's all ran by the overall Theta blockchain, which is great for a multitude of different reasons. One, large companies, two, T fuel burning, three, Theta staking. There's a lot of benefits to these companies creating sub chains. Uh, so since each subchain can execute transactions independently, this provides a viable path to infinitely scale the processing uh, capacity of the meta chain. The subchain SDK will implement a built-in interchain messaging channel, which connects the subchain and the main chain and allows the crypto assets to be sent like the uh, TNT20 and TNT 721 tokens to re across different chains. And the process of creating a subchain is permissionless. And it means that anyone can register and launch a subchain. Like I said, I think they're going Going to start with these larger companies they're going to start creating their own subchain uh, as we know imagine replay is one of the companies right now fuse media it seems like it's going to be another uh, chain that will be launched as well i uh, look forward to an announcement there but there's a lot of large companies that will uh, hop on to this uh, subchain network and if you're unfamiliar, I will touch on Imagine Replay real quick. It is a video tracking and payments platform. But the big thing here is it solves a humongous problem. It's a $77 billion problem. And I went over this in my last video, but a quick recap is if you are in the media industry and if you are getting paid, it's very hard to track who gets what as far as pots of the money or, or parts of the money um, whenever something does go live. So replay solves that problem. And for me as a content creator, it's a very small problem. But if you scale it up to the Hollywood level, that's where you see that this is truly a humongous billion dollar problem that they are solving. So that I did want to touch on that a little bit. 
But the uh, first demo subchain has now been deployed to testnet for testing by replay. The video tracking and payments platform is built on Theta, and they have been testing between TNT20, TNT721, and then TNT 1155 tokens back and forth. If you're confused with what those are, I think uh, Ethereum.org, they do a really good job of breaking down what the differences are. There's a difference between fungible and non-fungible token types in this way. ERC 1155 tokens can do the same functions as ERC 20 and ERC 721 tokens. So we'll uh, take away the ERC portion and then put TNT 20 or TNT 721 for the rest of the descriptions for these. And you can also see for the uh, ERC or TNT 1155, it is a multi-token standard that allows each token ID to represent a new configurable token type, which may have its own metadata supply and other attributes. So in summary, uh, TNT 20 or ERC 20, they are just like T-Fuel or the replay token or the bullet token, they're tokens on the specific blockchain, so Theta blockchain. ERC 721 token is an NFT standard or the TNT 721 token is the standard NFT standard right now. The uh, 1155 or TNT 1155 is a way to have different metadata on each NFT. If you want me to go into a more specific detail on the differences between those three in a different video, let me know in the comments below, but it does help out and they are testing it between each one of the different um, standards for the uh, TNT 20, 721 and 1155. And one good thing about this is the subchain produces new blocks every two seconds, which which is much faster than the uh, Theta main chain. And because of this transaction finalization on the sub chain is also significantly faster. And a couple things that I do wanna hit on, which they are 100% in uh, test mode right now, is the meta chain overview page. And from here, users can navigate to explorers of the different chains. And as you can see here, this is the current Explorer, the Theta Explorer that is live on the main chain or the uh, Theta 3.0 chain right now. And if we fast forward to Theta 4.0 when that comes out, it'll look something similar to this. So very comparable up top, but the main differences are there's the main chain and then different sub chains as well, which are listed up top and then down below. And all of this information is going to be easily selectable. So if you just want to look at the main chain, you can select this. But if you want to look at um, the uh, replay sub chain, then you can just select one of the two different hyperlinks uh, over here. And you can see all of the different information that is currently there. You can see the blocks, the wallets, the daily active wallets, the validators, and a lot of different transaction history. So all of this is in test mode right now. The information doesn't mean too much, but they are testing it currently, which is good to see. And that is a lot of the different things that we can look forward to seeing um, upcoming in the future. And then this is the Theta testnet main chain. So this is what the main chain will look like in the future as well. Looks very similar, but it has a couple of different dApps at the bottom. So that is something I did want to highlight to you. So it talks about the newly designed MetaChain navigation bar, which we did check out. And then wrapping this video up, the Theta wallet upgrade for the MetaChain testnet will be ready in the coming weeks. At that time, we'll provide instructions on how to transfer assets across chain using a wallet. And you best believe I'm going to make a video on that so everyone will be up to speed on it. More documentation for developers will be available at that time. So everyone can prepare for the MetaChain release by starting their own subchain test net. So if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below, but this was a quick and dirty video on the MetaChain test net being live and just checking out how the Imagine Replay subchain is deployed and what it'll look like in the future. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you on the next one.